Hey, what's up? How's it going? Um, so, the importance of listening is something that I've uh, made a video about. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the importance of instructions, like listening to instructions and uh, taking a, a deeper look into it according to the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Script. So, when you understand that uh, instructions are what caused our problem, because in the garden, you have the creation story and Adam and Eve are in the garden and then they're instructed by God not to eat off a certain fruit, but then they end up eating this fruit and now we have wars in Syria and Africa because of that. So um, when you have the ability to listen to instruction, what you're actually doing is you're gaining wisdom. So when you read the book of Proverbs, um, you realize that uh, the, 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 the most important thing that a person has to do is to listen because wisdom is already shouting and calling and screaming but then no one's listening to wisdom right so wisdom is abundantly available but people who actually know how to listen and take instruction are are like uh, not there so a lot of people are arrogant and this arrogance is wh what causes the downfall of people like uh, humility is being based and like actually listening this is what humility is all about and taking in information so that you know what to actually produce. So this is the problem um, and the solution is just to be able to listen. So I have a video on listening and um, how listening is, yeah, the art of listening, how you can listen better, how you can hear things better and uh, all of that stuff. So um, when when we're talking about the first temptation of Jesus, we're talking about how he was tempted to turn stones to bread and uh, how he refused and how that applies. Now, here when we're talking about instructions, like uh, working on instructions, being able to um, create things on instructions, we're now talking about uh, the desert area again, just like turning stones to bread. But here we're talking about Moses. So Moses was in the desert with uh, the Israelites and what he had was he had this uh, stuff he had like a log so a log comes from a tree this this stuff comes from a tree and this log is actually um what he had and this is how he actually struck the sea and then it divided so this log is divine because it can divide and the the people of israel were so thirsty and so hungry that they were complaining to him this happened twice so the first time they're complaining like hey dude like did you actually take us to this desert so that you could kill us in the desert spare for us to die in egypt and stuff like that then it's like wow really are you really gonna say this to me all right fine cool so then he goes and talks to god god tells him to uh take his instrument his uh stuff his log and uh go to a rock and strike it so um he does that and then when he strikes the rock water comes out and then people are like wow this is awesome so uh the cattle drink and stuff like that so what's happening here is that uh, he goes under an instruction to go and with his instrument to and then he struck it so this is the instruction with an instrument so this is the instrument he used to struck because he was instructed so the construction of this word is very important, instructions. So this instrument was very important and this is how he got the water to come out of this rock. So when you understand turning stones to bread and when you understand turning uh, the rock to water, what he's doing is he's working on instructions. The first instructions came in the Garden of Eden. The first instructions were uh were 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 not regarded and then the consequence that um happened was actually another instruction by god that because of the destruction the man was instructed that now all of his water is going to come from the rock it's going to come from the hardness of the ground so he says that the the sweat of his brow is going to give him the bread and the water. So when we're looking at uh, bread, all of the bread comes from the water. All of the bread comes from the sweat because the the water is um, the, the rain and the rain comes to the ground because of the seasons or the sun, the sun of God. 
And because of the Son of God, it rains. And when it rains, we have bread. So the Son of God always turns water to wine because the rain is the water which comes to the vine, which is divine. Like, no one knows how divine creates wine. And uh, this is the Son of God. Because without the Son of God, we don't have water turning into wine. We don't have water. We don't have bread. He is the bread of life. Because he is the Son of God. So, so when Moses was instructed, he actually went and struck it. Okay? And then that, that's the first time. Now, the second time, God tells him, something that's important he gives them another instruction and then he says that now go and instruct this rock to give you water instead of instructing the rock he goes and strikes the rock he struck it instead of instruct instructing it and through this failure to listen to instructions all of the people he was with were condemned they didn't inherit the, the land that, was, that belonged to them, the land of milk and honey, other, 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 other waters, other fluids, right? They weren't able to inherit, to inherit that land because of instructions. So these instructions are so important. And instruction, instruction. So he was using an instrument and he struck the rock. That's instruction. And then he was instructed to go and instruct the rock. But then instead, he went and struck it instead of instructing it. So maybe he misheard. <laughs> I don't think he misheard because he's supposed to listen to instructions. And because of this failure, the problems came. So listening to instructions, striking is important. So when we have instructions, what we have is something called the logos. So uh, the logos comes from the word which means log. So what he had was a log, and this log is like that stuff, like a teacher used to have this log in a class, and then she, he or she uses that log in order to instruct, because a teacher is an instructor. So instruction is a teaching. So all of these teachings are instructions. So who shall we teach knowledge? Who shall we give understanding? So all of this is coming through the logos, which is the logic. And uh, the log, every log comes from the tree. And the tree that we use is the tree of knowledge, the tree of good and evil. And uh, the tree that came to teach us, which is the Logos, which is Christ, who is actually called the branch. Like if you read the Bible, he's called the, the stump of Jesse. And in some, in some places, he's literally just called the branch. Like it's actually a cool name, like the branch. I am the branch. Like he's called the branch. Like capital B type, like the branch, like literally, like just Google it, like the branch is Jesus because he's a logos. So when he came as the word, the word is the logos or the logic. So this logic is the instruction. So when, when they, when they didn't hear the word, they lost the logos, they lost the logic, they lost the instructions. And this is the problem. Okay. Because this log burns. So this is uh, the, the depiction of hell because this log, we are also created just like him. We're also branches because we come from a family tree. We have ancestors in our family tree. And this family tree is also from the Garden of Eden, which was the, the, the tree of knowledge of good and evil instead of the tree of life, which is still there because this is the logos that we're supposed to actually have because that is the central tree, the tree of life. But then the logos... Uh, that we got or the instruction that we got was e-logic which uh, made us eat from the other tree of the knowledge of good and evil so we didn't listen to the instruction instead we uh, we, we listen we didn't listen to the instructions so we got struck dead because um, we didn't listen to what was instructed like yeah it sounds like a rap song <laughs> but yeah um, this is what happened because we had this instruction but we didn't get that instruction and that caused our destruction right literally because these words create the universe uni one verse the world one verse one world so our world is just words so these words are created through this so um this logos which is the branch which is jesus the word which became flesh is the instruction of life because he came as a teacher and this teaching is the instruction so this instruction is also in the cross 
because the cross is a tree. So this tree is the logos as well. This tree, the cross of crucifixion, is the tree of life. So this tree has this instruction. So this is about uh, being instructed and striking. So Moses had this logos, this log, and he was instructed to go and strike. So he struck, all right? The first time it's okay. But the next time he was instructed to go and instruct. Instead, he struck instead of instructing. And that was the problem. So he didn't listen to instructions. He didn't listen to the teaching. He didn't listen to the logos. He didn't listen to the word. He didn't listen to the branch. So he wasn't part of the family tree. He wasn't part of the tree of life. So finding the tree of life is finding that instruction, finding the logos, finding the logic. And this is life and this is salvation because every instruction is giving us this information that leads us to our salvation. Like, yeah, I'm rhyming a lot, <laughs> but the information is leading to our salvation and all of that. And that is just how it is because everything that is happening is happening because of the trees like every information every piece of information that we have is written by a log and um is written on a tree it's written on a log this is the logic this is how we learn biology uh theology astrology everything logic is logic because we're thinking so everything in the mind because everything we see in the world is created or is seen by our mind you don't see anything outside of your mind. Everything is seen by your mind or your logic. So how you have this uh, view or how you take the instructions, how you take the teachings is what gives you a world view. So when a person is in a garden and they don't actually uh, listen to the instruction, what is instructed, instead go to the logos, the forbidden tree, the forbidden knowledge and get that forbidden logos um, instead of getting the instructions, then they actually lose their, their, their whole world view because they are now illogic. So this is the craziness of our minds that we're in a very dysfunctional world because there are so many psychopaths. So these psychopaths are actually crazy people. Like, our world has crazy people. And uh, these crazy people are like that because they don't have the renewal of the mind. This is why Paul is just talking about the renewal of the mind, constant renewal of your mind. And this is what we need as opposed to uh, the mindset that we have, which has no instruction, which has no teaching, which causes us to die. This is destruction because of a lack of instruction or information my people perish from a lack of knowledge my people perish from a lack of logos my people perish because they don't have the instructions that they need because they don't have the basic instructions before leaving earth so the logic is very important and the logic is actually the word of God which gives us life, which gives us sustenance and this is where we get uh, turning stones to bread and water to um, and, and turning rocks to water. So uh, the, the water comes from the hardness of the rocks, the hardness of the earth, which is the sweat on the man's face. The sweat is the water and through this water we get bread. and. Uh, through the sun, because of the sun, we have water turning into wine. Because this water just comes on the earth and then it turns into wine and everything else. This water is, uh, the, the living water is the bread of life. Because this water comes to the earth and then it gives us the bread that gives us life. So this is the son of God. Because without the sun, we have none. So everything we do is through the sun. So the Son of God gives us everything that we have in our in our essence and in our being, and everything, everything, everything is through is through is through the Son of God, and the Son is a child of the light. So God is the light. God is the Father of the lights. So um, the Son, the, the the Son of the light, is the Son of God. So through this we have everything in existence 
we have sight, we have mind, and through our mind we have logos. So our mind needs the light because let there be light is let there be knowledge, let there be logos, let there be instruct. So that let there be light is an instruction. Let there be light is instructing something or someone. Some some forces were instructed, and through this instruction there was light. There was the first, second, fourth, fifth, sixth day. All the days of creation because of the instruction. So this instruction is very important because this is the logic of how creation happened. This is the logic of nature. The logs in nature. This is nature. This is natural. Instructions are natural. Because the sun rises on instructions. The moon sets on instructions. All of this is the logic in nature. <laughs> this is the biology of man. So yeah. So listening is very important. And um, the logic is important. Instructions are important. So yeah. So just keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And just and just and just do that, because um, everything is within your reach, within your grasp. So yeah. Thanks a lot, and uh, many blessings to you. <laughs>